My name is Emlyn Fonyo. I am a human rights and investigative journalist based in Cameroon. Soon after I graduated from journalism school, I started practicing journalism. People always express surprise at my knack for unearthing unreported stories in my community and beyond. One of such stories has led me to a Muslim-dominated community in my country. There, I was confronted with a sad reality. Marriage is sold to girls as an achievement, the only thing they need to aspire to. They are being reminded that they are purposefully born to become the Dasaris, that, which by the way means housewives. I find it hard to believe that a girl is being told that marriage is a certificate she needs to gain a place in heaven. I find it even barbaric to tell a girl to aspire only to marriage and no other thing. I decided to tell this story because I want girls in that community to get the help they deserve. I want these families to have the redemption they need because I believe every, there is a possibility for redemption for everyone. I want people to also understand through this story that before this pandemic draws to an end, many other girls, girls apart from Ina, Yawa and Julie, would have been sent into early and forced marriages, marriages in which they cannot even negotiate safe intercourse, marriages to men they do not love, marriages in places where they go to bed every night with men they do not want to see eye to eye with, yet they are told to be submissive in those marriages. I find it very sad to know that a girl has been told to aspire to marriage only and no other thing. That is why I wanted to tell this story. For people to understand the kind of brunt of the pandemic girls in Cameroon are bearing. Apart from child marriage, there is some other thing. There is a surge in domestic violence in Cameroon. There is a surge in child labor in Cameroon. I remember meeting a couple of young boys of be below seven hawking on the streets at 7 p.m. I remember seeing boys younger than 10 with some girls there trying to make ends meet by carrying heavy load in a construction site. I think of a colleague who was recently sexually assaulted because there were just few workers at, the, uh, on, at work that day. There is a different dimension to the pandemic in Cameroon. I think of internally displaced girls who have limited or no access to menstrual, hair, menstrual health care. I hope this story gets them the help they deserve. Thank you.